was in a course once where there was nothing but four links and three of them were dead, right? And, they, and there was just an HTTP, you know. And I thought, like, you, there's no invitation. There's nobody here. They need to feel that somebody's actually present and excited about the material or you can't expect people to come at it fresh and give the best of themselves. When I was just about to begin the course, the online course, a friend asked me, if I take your course, what do I get and what do I get to do? And what I like about that is that if you're walking into a course, even if it's an online course, you first want to know, what do I get? What do I get to do? Like, where's my part in this? How do I belong to this community? And that should be right at the beginning of a course. I've learned from students to be surprised and to be open about how people learn. Everybody knows a lot about the way they learn. Sometimes they haven't had a chance to, to talk about that in a forum and then to research it further. People with severe dyslexia have taken this course and They've said in their evaluations of themselves at the end of the course, I thought this was going to be awful. It's all about reading and writing. And they said, but I felt that I belonged. As soon as we talked about learning and memory, I realized that, in fact, the class is really with me. On, uh, we're all a little different in terms of our learning abilities. There are students here. Everybody, everybody knows something about health and knows it deeply and lives it and copes with it and can teach the rest of the world. So my great excitement in, in teaching here is that students actually assume that an assignment will uh, involve all of their brain and all of their talent. People and their learning styles actually change the course as well. They, they leave behind things that say, this is what speaks to me and this is what works for me. And you can just incorporate those things, really listen to the students, and they'll tell you what can make a great course. I think that the online uh, experience for students is going to be pretty full on. It's not a place where you can sort of pretend to be involved. My students work really hard. They research something and do a mini essay every week. But if you don't ask for something, something visual, something that engages them, something that they've researched, told a story, offered their MLA documentation, citations, quotations, all of that, and then responded to other people and what they've said, then you can't really sh be sure that they've engaged with the material. But when they evaluate themselves at the end of the course, they are proud of what they've done. And they, have a, they, they demonstrate reflections that say, I've had a good experience here. And I have, I've engaged on all levels of education. So I think when we create online courses, think about the classroom. And imagine that anything that you can create there can also be created online, almost. But you can really create the feeling of being together. I feel that people here are courageous, and so I would like to be like that. I would like to learn from that and just see what's next, what's next.